Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but I promise to make it up with this recipe. This is absolutely one of my favorites, and we've had a lot of people who really enjoy this recipe. These are some of the best pakoras you're ever gonna have. Okay, maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but these are pretty freaking awesome. So what we're making today is called sabudane ke pakore. Basically, these are a type of deep fried appetizers. Um, pakoras are really common in India, but these are made out of tapioca and coconut, so it's gonna give them this really unique flavor and texture. You're going to need some green chutney for this recipe, which is basically a condiment that goes well with these. Go ahead and take a look at that recipe. I've got a link to it down below in the description, as well as an annotation in the video. Also, keep in mind the quantities here will make enough for about 15 people, so adjust the ingredients accordingly. Without further ado, here are the ingredients you're going to need. One cup of sabudana, aka pearl tapioca, three cups of plain yogurt, regular or low fat is fine, three cups of rice flour, one cup of shredded coconut, one bunch of chopped green cilantro, two chopped green chilies, one chopped onion, three tablespoons of green chutney, and some extra to use as a condiment, two teaspoons of salt, or however much you like, and a cup of water. So you start off by adding the tapioca, yogurt, and water to a bowl, then mix it. You wanna let this mix sit out for about three to four hours at room temperature. If it's a cold day, you'll want it to sit out a little bit longer. This is basically to allow the tapioca to soak up the yogurt. After that's been out for a few hours, then add the rice flour and the coconut. We're also going to add the chutney, green chili, salt, and water. Add the onion and the cilantro and mix it again. Then we're going to let the dough sit out for another 30 to 35 minutes. This is so the dough can settle and absorb more of the flavors. So now you're gonna take the frying pan and fill it up with oil. You wanna prepare the oil by using high heat and heating it up for about three to five minutes. Before we start cooking, we're gonna to check to see if the oil is ready. You can do that by adding just a little bit of dough to the oil. If it floats up easily to the top, like it does here, then you're ready to cook. Once the oil is good, you can start cooking. Add little balls of dough into the frying pan. You wanna fry it for about five minutes or basically until the dough turns golden. And that's it. Remember to serve this dish with green chutney. Let me know what you guys think. I've got a link to the green chutney video right about here. And we'll see you next time.